Mr. Rothschild, how are you doing, sir? Can you tell us what went on at the Bilderberg meeting this year? Sorry? Can you tell us what went on at the Bilderberg meeting this year? I didn't go there, actually, no. The Bilderberg? You weren't there? No. Not this year. What went on uh, last year? No, I wasn't there last year. I, last I year? think that was my cousin. Your cousin was there? Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Okay. Do you have a couple minutes for us, Mr. Rothschild? We have a few additional questions. I was, I was asking a question inside of, because I was saying that the, uh, the Federal Reserve was one of these organizations, <laughs> and, uh, one of these organizations that a lot of people say is the source of uh, any main products all across the world because it's a private bank that was started by your family. No, no, it's completely, completely, completely untrue. I was asked that earlier. It really isn't true. Well, no, no. Jekyll Island? Jekyll Island, 1913, sir. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but sir, just one thing, if you could go on about how you know, your family committed all these acts against society, but we just want to let you know the New World Order has no legitimacy. Oh, yeah. And that we as a people are not afraid, and we are waking up to the robber barons and the big banks who are looting right. this economy with the Federal Reserve. Well... We just want to let you know the New World Order has no legitimacy. Oh, yeah. And that we as a people are not afraid, and we are waking up to the robber barons and the big banks who are looting right. this economy with the Federal Reserve. Well, what do you, I mean, the Rothschilds family did start the federal, you know, they divided Europe first, no, no, no. took over Europe, the no, Napoleon. Don't no, exaggerate. No, no, no. <laughs> well, no comment on that, sir? David Gergen, top presidential advisor to Ford, Reagan, George Herbert Walker Bush, and Bill Clinton. We couldn't believe our luck. It just so happens that David Gergen is also a prominent member of the Bohemian Grove, the offshoot of Skull and Bones. This insider of insiders, a staple of the White House for 22 years, got very upset when we brought up Bohemian Grove to him. He didn't deny its existence. He didn't deny that he was a member. He didn't deny the rituals. He just became angry and didn't act very gentlemanly. Hey, Mr. Gergen, can we talk to you for a second? Where are you from? I'm Alex Jones. I have a TV show in Austin. I make documentaries. Tell me just a few questions about the convention. Yeah, well, is there a camera? Or are you? Yeah, right there. Just about. Yeah, but I just want to get your permission first. Here. Okay, okay. Just, it's looking like I've, I've got. No, I understand. Just about a minute or two. Okay, great. We're talking to David Gergen, and he has advised several presidents and, of course, has uh, written quite a few uh, books and uh, is a, I would call you a political pundit or researcher. Commentary at over the hill, whatever. One last question. I read a Washington Times article many years ago where you had a comment about the organization, and then now it's been in the Wall Street Journal, it's been in a lot of different newspapers, and that's the Bohemian Grove. And back in, what was it, 1996 when you joined uh, as a Clinton advisor, they were the Republicans were criticizing you, oh, what about Bohemian Grove? And then you countered, uh, and then you countered them by saying, hey, I don't run around in the woods naked. What did that mean? Here is the before-mentioned Washington Times article where he said, "I didn't run around naked like they do." I, I don't. I don't know what. I don't know what quote you're referring to. I'm not aware of any quote like that. Uh, listen, uh, I am a, 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 a happy member of the Bohemian Grove. I like the, the folks who come there, and uh, it's really inappropriate for me to uh, talk about a uh, uh, the group beyond that. Thank you. Have you been there for the ceremony with uh, the cremation of care? Uh, frankly, that's, uh, that, uh, I don't think that's something I need to talk to you about. Have you been there for the ceremony with uh, the cremation of care? Uh, frankly, that's, uh, that, uh, I don't think that's something I need to talk to you about. Really? That's right. Well, I'm Alex Jones, and I snuck in there in 2000. I'm the guy that blew it wide open and got the video. It's been on national TV. Well, I disrespect you for that. You do? I do. But it's a lot of big public officials going in there. You don't we deserve to know? You, you took an I don't know anything about you, and I don't know anything about your film. But if you go in there with an understanding, you violated that understanding by releasing that film, and I don't respect you for that. Really? But you we have public officials you, I'm sorry. You policy. took an understanding when you went in there that you would not do that film. And you did, did you have an understanding when you went in there? No. Did you crash it? Yes. Yeah, and it has no trespassing signs there, too, doesn't it? No, they put them yes, up sir. after. Oh, I'm I sorry. I just walked in. I'm sorry, sir. I've been there before. I know what, I what the circumstances are, and I'm sorry you uh, violated the understandings. That was not that was not a gentlemanly thing to do. But what about the ritual? Is the ritual gentlemanly? Oh. 
sir. Everything I, they, you, I, I, don't, I don't owe you this comment. I know. I appreciate you, it. You, you, you have you. This is what's called ambush journalism, and I disrespect you for that as well. So thank have you, you ever and goodbye. Been the ritual? That's none of your damn business. Oh, that's right. Listen, oh. listen. You go around and and make understandings with people and violate them. You, you ambush people on the streets when that's, that's inappropriate form of journalism. If you wish to practice that, that's fine. But don't ask others to respect you for it. If you want to, you, you can do, you're free American like anything you want. If you want to be uncivil and rude and ungentlemanly, that's up to you. But don't expect the rest well, of us to say, oh, well, you're You guys are Mr. Gergen. I'm sorry. Nobody sets policy in there. We try to be gentlemen. And obviously, you don't belong there. Weaving spiders come out here? <laughs> yeah, that is a three-pointer. Woo! Just look at him. That's a face keeping a lot of secrets. He's got some stories to tell. And remember that Washington Times article? It talked about all the other organizations that he resigned from. It mentions the Trilateral Commission, the Council on Foreign Relations, all of them groups dedicated to setting up a world government and destroying American sovereignty. Yes, sir. Uh, first question? Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, you gave a keynote speech at the Bohemian Grove Club, sir, a club which openly has mock child sacrifices and satanic me, worship, sir. Say, Can you answer my question, say, sir, please? I was very pleased. I was very pleased with my performance in the debate. It was a good debate. Uh, what about the Bohemian Grove Club, though, sir? Uh, That's very was, important. They, they do mock human sacrifices there, sir, and you reported being I was, there. I was very pleased with my performance in the debate. So sir, why did you ignore my question, sir? Can we have open dialogue? If you want to be president, let's have an open dialogue about this. You just ignored me, sir. It's not nice. It's not. It's running up a storm about that Bohemian Grove over there. Human sacrifices, a male prostitute shipped in there yearly. I should like to know what goes on over there. That's respectable stuff. I know, isn't it? It's disgusting. What you're doing is not respectable. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about what the, what the governor does over there yearly at Bohemian Crow. This is about the debate. This is not an open news conference. Right. Well, with the governor, there's never an open news conference. He talks about AIDS and health care and the same stuff over and over. Governor, Bohemian Grove, actually, you said before that you did you did, did you or did you not attend Bohemian Grove in San Francisco? You've been ignoring this question for three and a half years, Governor. Hey, Ben, just really quick, what did you do at the 2008 Bilderberg meeting? I'm not doing any press today. It was discussed that's where they uh, just plan to destroy the economic uh, American, American economy due to a mall. I mean, what did you do at the Bilderberg Group? I'm not doing any press today. No questions? No. What did you do there? All we want to know. When are you going to apologize for destroying this economy, Mr. Bernanke? You? Now, that's a very simple question. What did you do at the Bilderberg meeting? Of course, you don't want to answer that question because in 2008 in Chantilly, Virginia, at the elitist Bilderberg meeting, a mole came out right afterwards and said you guys were planning to destroy the U.S. economy, the U.S. dollar, to bring in a one-world government currency. And that's exactly what happened after your meeting in June of 2008. My main question is, is the national ID card that has been being pushed through piecemeal ever since William Jefferson Clinton and the Clintonistas got in. And the main question that I have to you is about the national ID card and the thumb scanners that are being put in in the state police departments to get driver's license across the state. Your state, Texas, since 94 has been thumb scanning all to get a driver's license and now um, in the 1997 uh, record, Clinton has now entered it in that he wants urine and blood testing for 25% randomly selected. Now I know that's two questions. Can you first say what your stance is on the national ID card with privacy issues? And then can you answer the urine and blood testing that's now in the Federal Register? Well, you've asked me about uh, a series of things. One of them is thumbprinting by state police departments. And my suggestion is that you take it up with George Bush uh, to the extent that there are decisions made by the Texas Department of Public Safety that are done here in the state of Texas. Sir, it's a federal program. They are uh, state administered here. It was mandated by the, President Clinton. Well, uh, I suggest that you take up with the state of Texas the way it's operating, and if it doesn't want to do these programs, for it to contact uh, me and other people in the delegation and express that concern. And then it won't get its highway money. Uh, I welcome uh, your forwarding your concern. That's extortion, sir. That's extortion. If you came out to do a radio program, uh, you want to ask questions, but if you want to have a show, you're the... People have been talking for 10 minutes. I'm going to ask these questions. Do you have any other questions? Yes. You had the first 10 minutes of Congressman Doggett. Do, do you have any other questions that you'd like yes, to ask? Yes, I have a question what to ask they? you. 
My question is about the militarization of the police and secret military programs. It was on uh -huh. September 23rd, Blair News Hour. It's been in all the major papers. What's going on with the Delta Force and local police departments here in here in Central Texas? What specifically about? Al A. Philippus on May 5th kicked out the Delta Force from Bear County in San Antonio for mm -hmm. attempting to bribe him. I, I'm not familiar. I with have it on video. Well, I'd be glad to get it, and then I'd be glad to I comment on it. I have another question for you, sir. Okay. And I'm asking these questions quickly. Others have talked sure, to Sure, you minutes. are. Patty, and I don't appreciate you, you. Well, I don't appreciate your attitude, <laughs> no. sir. You had the first time. You're welcome to come out and ask your questions. But all these other people have rights, too. I don't appreciate you abusing well, American you citizens. Much. You're thank abusing you. Merrick. Don't you hit me. Oh, he, all, he tried to hit me. No, don't no, you no, abuse no, American no, citizens. No, you're a CFR trash. You're selling this country out. Thank you for coming out. We're going to stand against you. You remember that, buddy. Thank you for coming out. We stand against you for the Constitution of the United States of America. Goodbye. Yeah, you got it. No, we're out here. Let's go. Where's the diamond? He tried to. You are a worm. According to their wishes, Mike was mainly just getting dogged. And that lady was continually talking and bumping into me while I was doing it. Then I tried to ask another question, and she was pushing me. And then dogged takes his hand and shoves it underneath my chin. Uh, you can't really catch it on the tape, but as Mike pulls the camera back, you see his hand coming away, and he, like the textbook liar he is, he acts like he was trying to shake a hand. Here it is right here. Here it is. He was pushing me right there, and then he acts like he was shaking that guy's hand. Unbelievable. Here's the rest of the annex. Then we'll go back over just a few more of his disgusting comments. Well, I don't appreciate your attitude, sir. You had the first time. You're welcome to come out and ask your questions. But all these other people have rights, too. I don't appreciate you abusing well, American you very citizens. Much. You're thank abusing you. American... Don't you hit me. Oh, he, he tried to hit me. No, don't you abuse no, American citizens. No, you're a CFR trash. No, you're you selling this country out. Thank you for coming out. We're going to stand against you. You remember that, buddy. Thank you for coming out. We stand against you for the Constitution of the United States of America. Goodbye. Yeah, you got it. No, we're out here. Let's go. Where's the guy He tried to. You are a worm. That's fine. You never answered about Clinton and the missile technology, sir. You never answered about Clinton and the missile technology. Please don't interrupt this gentleman. He's in time. Answer about the missiles. Answer the question. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'm not the threat President Clinton is. I'm leaving, lady. I'm going on the radio for four hours tonight every night. I'm out of here. You're in a controlled society. The information you're receiving is controlled. Conflagration's coming, smiley face slave. You're like the people that supported the Nazis. You will pay. Let's go. You have a nice day too, bootlicker.